Hey, we are well into cold and flu season, and the CDC issued a health advisory earlier this month for increased respiratory virus activity for fall and winter, especially among kids. Now, according to CDC data, weekly RSV cases have risen from roughly 6,000 cases in the first week of October to get this, almost 9,000 cases by the first week of November. A hospital in Michigan has reported reaching full capacity due to a surge in RSV cases, leading hospital officials to worry that an earlier flu season, coupled with the surge in RSV cases and the potential of a new wave of COVID-19, could further stress the health care system. Joining me now to talk more is emergency medicine physician, Dr. Owais Durrani. Uh, Dr. Durrani, Durrani, thanks so much for being with us here tonight. Thanks for having me. Of course. Let's start with the rise in RSV cases. I, I know you and I have connected on Twitter, but have yet to actually uh, talk. You've told me your Houston hospital is just overwhelmed with sick kids. Put that in perspective for us tonight and, and how dire this really is. Absolutely. You know, usually RSV season starts around now. Um, I'm thinking back to like May um, and the start of June is when we start to see RSV cases and they start to go up over the summer and then continue to trend up as we're getting into colder colder months now. And so what's that led to is a small percentage of kids are gonna get really sick from RSV and need admission. Not a large percentage, but a small percentage. But when you have a large, large amount of kids getting sick, that means more admissions. And because there's a lack of pediatric ICU beds in general, because kids don't get that sick, that means those beds fill up real quick. And so over the last month or so, we've had difficulty getting patients admitted to hospitals. I practice in Houston, one of the largest cities um, in the United States. We have a massive medical center. And there have been cases where we've had to transfer pediatric patients out of Houston to other cities, and in some cases, even other states because of the lack of beds. And, and talk to me about cause here, which I'm so interested in. Is this influx of illness because kids were I don't know, isolated for so long during the pandemic, not letting their immune systems build strength or, or what's to blame here? Yeah, that's that's the kind of working theory right now. We're basically seeing two populations of kids experiencing RSV season for the first time. The, the kids that were you know, born over the last year and a half, two years, who were isolated at home, not interacting with other kids or going to daycare, experiencing it for the first time. And then we've got the newborns that um, have been born over the last six months experiencing it as well. And so that kind of doubling effect is leading to many more cases. And then, of course, a fraction of those cases are going to require admission and kind of um, more, um, more, more, uh, more treatment requiring um, hospital care. And Dr. Durrani, just one last question for you. Uh, switching gears here a little bit, what can people do to best protect themselves from getting COVID-19 this winter? I know that's still top of mind for a lot of people and families. Yeah, so we're kind of heading into the season with three massive viruses, right? COVID, RSV, influenza. The good thing is for two of them, we have vaccines. Um, so get your flu shot, get your COVID shot. And then for RSV, you know, you can kind of do some supportive measures at home. With COVID, we're really behind when it comes to boosting our elderly, our kids, and then the general population. There are free vaccinations still available out there. They're still effective and they protect you from getting hospitalized. So get, get the shots that you can get. And that'll allow our healthcare system to function like it should and not get overwhelmed. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.